Heather from Paint to Braille Fiber Arts, and today is Friday Late Night's Yarn Chat Podcast. Hi everyone! I hope you have all had a nice, happy, wonderful crafting week and are all doing well. As for today, I am going to be going over some of my finished projects, which isn't very many because I've been busy setting up my store and doing stay-at-home mommy things, as well as some other things that were going on. And I've been super tired from going to bed too late and waking up too early because of all the things that I've had to do and everything. I also, I was at the store today and ended up buying yarn at an actual store, which made me feel really good and happy because half the time when I go in the store, I must just have bad timing or something around here, but everybody <laughs> seems to be doing yucky stuff to it and it drives me nuts because I'm like, why? Why do you have to do that to this pretty yarn that I could be crocheting with, or somebody else could be, or you could be knitting with, or making some kind of other art project with? People actually use this stuff, you know? And people are over in the store doing gross stuff to it, making the aisles smell bad because they probably wiped something really gross all over it. It did some stuff, and it's not that I'm being overly picky, it's just that's how it is when I go in there. So today, when I was in the store, I was like, oh my gosh, I see all these pretties, and I just wanted to buy some. And I was so happy. And yes, it was at Walmart. And it was at this way too busy at Walmart. And they actually had that. And they had all the food items that I needed. And even iced tea, which half the time they were out of. So I must have just had good timing when they went stocked up everything. <laughs> so they had almost everything that I wanted. Except for one thing they had a little bit of, but not a lot. But that was nothing to do with yarn. Anyways, I am going to show you some of my really cool finished objects and then talk about or like some life stuff as well as show off my pretty pretty yarn that I just got today. Alright, so today um, I'm showing you just a couple projects because that's all I have. Alright, so I've been working on these really pretty coasters. The pattern is by Expression Fiber Arts. It's a super easy pattern. Like, beginners can do it. Um, even people that have been crocheting forever. I, as long as you know um, basic stitches like single crochets, double crochets, and triple crochets, um, as long as you understand that and how to work in the round, and as well as slip stitch, then you should have no problem whatsoever with this, with um, making this design. Alright, this is the first one. It's actually made with I Dream of. I think it's I dream uh, of fiber or I dream of color. I don't know. It's another um, beautiful hand dyer. She makes. She has an Etsy store. I remember her every time I go on Etsy. That is one side of that, and this is the other side of the coaster. And she makes th this really pretty color. She actually, I think, made it for one of her yarn festival things, and it is um, sock weight, and it's a. Uh, 100% superwash, merino wool, and nylon blend, so it's really stretchy. It is um, sock, sock weight, finger weight, fingering weight, and it is in multicolor shades of black, um, periwinkle purpley color blue, crashing into gray, and has like a purple cast over it, or tinting, or shades of purpley stuff in there, and it's so pretty and soft. That's what I love. That's how it looks. Um, yeah, it's, oh, it's I Dream of Fibers or something. Something of that. I dream of color. The, co the name will come back to me one of these days when I go on Etsy again. I'll be like, that's what it is. Um, but anyways, she is an amazing dyer. I love her. I love her stuff. She's one of the first ones I found besides Expression Fiber. This is Expression Fiber Arts hand dyed yarn that I use to make this coaster. It's on their sock weight, which is 100% super washed merino wool. And it's in the colorway, I think, painter, painter's block or something of that sort. I don't know. It came out like a couple years ago. Love it because it's like a teal and like um, burgundy, reddish, purpley color and purples because of the two colors crashing, which is awesome. I love how lightweight and fun these um, coasters are, and they look super pretty. I want to start crocheting some, 
and rainbow packs and put them into my store as well as some other cool shades of colors and they will be in my store shortly. I'm going to be blocking it out because unfortunately they curl a little on that. It's going to be on my new blocking boards that you will be seeing a video short soon made by me that this awesome company sent to me and they wanted me to write a review about it so I will be doing that as well as videoing a review about that in the next few days to come. Anyways, um, I started trying to, um, I'll show you my finished works after. I mean, works in, I'll show you my finished works first and then my works in progress. Um, I made this little octopus buddy which is in white called White Out. And then I made her little I made her and the other octopuses some friends. This one is a nice fall colors. This is the top, I mean the front with the cute eyes. This is the bottom. And this is how it looks. It is in beautiful fall colors. This is in the cash silk, um, this is cash silk uh, yarn from Expression Fiber Arts. It's in the colors like a green and a purple and burnt orange and they look kind of fallish because they all are crushing into each other and they're fall like tinted colors together. It's gorgeous and her cash, her cash sock is cashmere um, 100% um, superwash merino wool. I think there might be nylon, I'm not sure, and some silk and then it's all blended together and it creates this pretty color. The eyes are from 6060 Eyes. They are in black and the lips are floss, um, embroidery thread stuff that's 100% cotton. I crocheted this by, it starts off in the, it starts off in the round where you can use a magic loop or just create a, a loop out of the out of a couple singles to crochet and then you insert your crochet hook and start going and you do increase you do increase decreases all the way around then you um, tie it up, finish it off and you create the head then you do increase decrease for the bottom and then I um, and I create like a circle and I do the little legs which are um, which are half double crochets with slip stitch around and around that's how I create my bottom I did do some work some back stitches before I did close it up on the sides because that's what the creator suggested because she wants you to do the tentacles through there but I like to create my little piece and then sew it on so that way the bottom looks more smooth and better like it does and she um her suggestion actually works out good because then that's how I sew it on and make it look gapless and that's really cool because then it looks professionally like it never had no legs <laughs> and I love that I love making these armies they're so fun and these eyes are six millimeter eyes from 660's eyes if I didn't already just say that and they're in the color black then this is paint made with paint box yarn which is a hundred percent acrylic the one that I got it's like a deep a weight slash sports slash worsted weight kind of I think it's, I don't remember what it was labeled as, but it's, I say, more like a DK weight, but, because it's not quite a worsted, it's not quite a sports. It's a little, it's almost a worsted. It's pretty cool. It's thicker than the cotton of theirs that I use all the time. And it's in the color hot pink. I think it's actually called hot pink. And the eyes are from 6060 eyes. They are 6 millimeter black eyes. And I use cotton and, cotton embroidery thread for its lips or some kind of scrap yarn I don't remember one of the two and then yeah this one is cotton embroidery flap and um yeah it's crocheted the same way as that one bottom looks like that and the sides are seamless these are so fun to make I love them and they look so cute they look so cute displayed around someone's house or some um, someone's kid walking around with it and playing with it. They make adorable toys, um, fun gifts, and they're just awesome. And they are in my store currently. I do have it where for every order gets one of them 
for free in a random color choice that I can, that I will pick out for you and it will look very pretty and you, and each um, person that orders from me for the month of this uh, November not this, for the month of November till December 1st will get one of these for free and their orders and please check out my store daily it is changing all the time there will be different stuff in there and added um I started making these are gonna be my um, I guess you would say whips or works in progress. I don't really like saying the word whip. I just say things I'm working on because I like that better than saying works in progress or whip or whatever. But I just like to finish off. I don't like saying faux. It's so weird. These little like abbreviations. I don't get it. it. Like it just doesn't sound right coming from me. I don't know. Maybe it's just a. I, I don't know. I'm just so different than others. But yeah. Anyways, I'm um, making another one of these beautiful starfish that you saw in the last episode. And I am working on one in this color, which is in, that's the, how it looks right now. It's in the color Melon Shorebrit in Paintbox Yarns, which is Cotton DK, 100% cotton. I'm so excited. I like this new shade. I just got it in the mail last week as well as that as some acrylic of theirs and they got the softest baby yarn I've ever felt ever. And they had like a sale that was like buy one, buy two I mean, get one free on Crochet Love. Oh, I was like best buy. And then they always have 70% off plus they already discounted. And so like the acrylic yarns, they had these little minis for 88 cents but it ended up being cheaper than that because I got like a 30% off coupon. Wow, it was awesome. <laughs> then I started making Miss Missy, the wonderful mini bat. I'm making her a boy one that's similar. And this is what his cute little head looks like. Look at his face. So adorbs. And I'm going to be making his body <laughs> and adding ears and legs and and wings and creating him into a bat so he doesn't look bodiless and headless. I've had so much fun making all these projects this week and working on it and I have so many more projects to share with you in the near future and the next episode will have a lot more things. Um, I'm going to continue adding things to my store and that finishes off what I have for projects going on for now to share with you um, before I start crocheting like I was trying to do so I am excited to do that I gotta show you this yarn that I got at Walmart out of all the places alright so I didn't just get one of these I got two three four they're all the same kind of yarn and this is Scrubby yarn to make scrubbies for my sink and to put in my store. Oh, it's so cool. It is, um, just a bunch of, it's just like, just some really nice yarn that's not super rough, but it's rough enough where it will get the food off, but will not scratch your dishes most likely. And it's actually called Scrubby. It's by Red Heart. And it says, great for dish cause. Oh yeah, I could already tell, and it should make it where they don't fall apart as much due to all the fringy things sticking out, or little thingy, loopy things, whatever you call it, and it should work out nicely. I want to get more of it, but I think I'm going to order either online, or wait till I get a Michael's or Joanne's coupon, because if they ever have it in there, because every time I go in there, they don't, but um, just because... It just was a little more money than I wanted to spend, I felt, on it for the amount. Because you only get, like, per ball, you get, this is the color Bubblegum. It's a multicolor, and it's, you get, like, if you get 3 ounces, and you get 5 grams, 78 yards, and 71 millimeters, which... To make one of these cool looking scrubbies, like they have like a cool design already in there. Um, looks like 
is going to eat up the yarn really fast. And I feel that if that's happening, if you want a set of like four or five on your sink, yeah, that will eat up fast. <laughs> and I love the rainbows. That's why I got the bubblegum. The blue one I got. It is ocean. And the purple one is grape. And they did have like no more of the grape. And every time I see this stuff, like, people must buy a lot of it at once because it's always sold out fast. That's the other end of it, so that's why I say online might be my place to suggest my luck and timing with this. Um, and how it's very hit or miss with the stores, I really is. But if I want bulk, that's the place to go online, definitely. Oh, it's actually the color Tropical, <laughs> not Bubblegum. I don't know why it said Bubblegum on there. And that was weird that I said that. The other colors are all right that I said, but that one. And, oh, so what is it made out of? Let's see. It is a medium for weight. And it is made out of, I think, polyester. It says 100% polyester. Which is cool, because I like cotton or something of this sort to wash my dishes with. It'd be great. And I can't wait to show the scrubbies off. It's going to be so fun. And this yarn is going to be tons of fun. I can't stop touching it because it just feels so awesome. <laughs> um, anyways, that was the first thing. Then I got not just one, not just two, but three of these Lion Brand Mandala yarn. Ooh, so pretty. Look at that rainbow. It is gorgeous. I love it. Love these cakes. These are gorgeous. And that's the color gnome. This is a 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 590 yards, 400, I mean 540 meters. It is machine washable and dryable. Awesome. And it is 100% acrylic, which is okay because it's really soft. And it doesn't make me itch. It doesn't fall off of my hands, which is awesome. It looks like, um, yes, it does say that it is a three weight, but it looks like it's like almost like a DK more than a worsted, I feel. And that's how thick it is. It's gorgeous, and I can't love rainbows. So excited to use it. I've seen these on so many podcasts, so now I'm excited that I have some. I got no, two of those rainbows, and most of the rainbows and other colors were sold out, so I got so lucky. I got this one. I like that it's more orangey. That's why I picked it out. The other one is more like purple green that starts off. But each one of these starts off differently. It's like they just go round and round and then snip, round and round, snip, round and round, snip, round and round, snip. It's interesting to see, considering that it's a self-striped yarn, so... I can't wait to see how the stripes work out from what I've seen to other people. It's gorgeous. Then I saw this gorgeous color on another podcaster um, video. And it's the color um, Genie. And I saw it on um, Ella from No Catchy Name um, Crochet Talk. Hi, Ella! I saw it on her um, podcast and it, she was making um, one of her um, items with it. And it just looks so pretty. It, and I can't wait to see it when it's finished and she's been doing working on it with one of her cows and you should go check out her um, channel anyways but yeah she worked on it it's awesome and I put her channel link down below I like watching her channel I like seeing her cute family I like seeing all her projects she does a lot of stuff for the fair that um in it for fair and her family and um and she makes these cute, adorable amigurumis, and she uses them as decorations around her house. Oh, they're so adorable. I, I get so excited to see what one she's, like, working on. I'm like, oh my gosh, which one is she going to work on? Oh, it's so cute. I love it. I want to make it. <laughs> and although I don't make as many big amigurumis, I make mostly minis. She makes me want to make the bigger ones. She makes me want to just go and make some, um, sit down with some nice, um, worst of yarn and, like, go to town with it and just have a great time making it and I love her energy she's just so nice and kind and she talks to you like she's her friend that's what I like and she's left me so many nice sweet comments thank you Ella anyways um I will put her link down below and I hope you go and see her channel if you haven't already and subscribe to her as well <laughs> you so should 
Um, oh, and Ella, I hope you're feeling better. Um, and that no more sicknesses happen to you. Thank you. <laughs> um, anyways, I wanted to say um, thank you everybody for all your love and support on Instagram. And your love and support on here. And all the niceness that you... Nice comments you have left me. As well as all the nice kind words you have said to me. Um, as well as thank you everybody that's participated in my yarn giveaway. I will be having another yarn giveaway in the near future. Um, let me know like what y'all would like me to put in the giveaway because <laughs> that's what it's come down to pretty much for me because I'm like, I have some stuff but I know y'all want yarn but I don't know exactly everybody's colors <laughs> and I don't know exactly what all of you want because I don't really know that much about all of you so that's why I'm going to be creating a little chat in Raverly not just to see your finished objects but to get to know you and each one of you because each one of you I think is special and awesome in your own unique way and I would really like to get to know you and I would like you to get to know me a little bit more too so um yeah that's why I'm going to create this Raverly um chat room it's going to be called um Paint of Real Fiber Arts podcast chat and that's where we can post pictures of our latest projects we can also share patterns on there and yarn and yarn um, that we find and how we got it and prices and stuff if you want you can even share what kind of yarn it is and just what it is not even say the price or anything because um, sometimes we don't know because it was a gift and you can just um, show off all your finished projects and even your works in progress and everything that um, relates with yarn as well as um, whatever fiber arts project that um, kinds of things you work on whether it's crochet, whether it's knit, whether it is cross stitch, whether it is needlepoint, it doesn't matter what it is you can share it in there and I will have different maybe crochet alongs or knit alongs if if anyone's down for that um, or has any cool patterns that they think would be good for that or ideas or if anybody has any other ideas to add to that please um, either tell me down below or in chat that I will be creating and setting up it should be up by later today or tomorrow I will be putting the link and telling more about it on my Monday's podcast once it happens and make the announcement and I will also be doing one on Facebook I'll be making that announcement. I did update my Facebook pictures and I've been updating my store slowly but uh, and adding nice pretty pictures on there and that is changing like I say always and you can go check that out and my store is https dot dot slash slash www dot etsy dot com slash shop slash <laughs> painted world fiber art did that right this time and my na job name is Painter Road Fiber Art I had to drop the S because it was too big so and everything um, as for my yarn giveaway um, it did come up with a winner and her name is Sherry Perry congrats Sherry Perry and I can't wait to send it off to you um, and everything and um, what else is going on Oh, I plan on hand dyeing some yarn soon, and it will be at price at affordable rates in my Etsy shop once it does happen. Because I know a lot of hand dyed yarn is price kind of pricey, but I want to make it more affordable for everybody, so that way everybody can afford it. And especially some projects take up quite a bit of those skeins, and I don't want anybody to not feel they don't have enough of that other way for their for their projects due to how much it costs so that shouldn't be the issue it should be it should be um it shouldn't be like that I feel and I even feel that when I am buying yarn sometimes I'm like Ugh, I wait for the sale you know and because I just can't afford it at top dollar but anyways um all right and what else is going on um I'll be updating my Etsy always, and I, always, like I said, I'll be updating my, I mean, Instagram, I'll be updating my Instagram always, my blog, my Etsy shop, 
and I will be updating um, blog loving and Twitter and Facebook slowly and steadily throughout the week. But yes, keep checking them out. You will see the updates. Um, I am going to be updating my blog later on today. And I hope that you go over there and check it out. Um, if you want to see what kind of items are in my store, um, visually and not just through a picture or through a video, you can go check out um, my uh, my shop's video, the video of the current items that are there. I will link that down below and you can go click on that. If you want to know more about what this podcast is about, you can also click the link down below. Um, please, uh, like I said, check out all my social medias. Um, you can email me at paintedworldfiberarts at gmail.com if you have any anything to say to me or any um, anything that you want to bring up in an email. You can comment below. I really love all my comments and appreciate all of them. And please uh, hit the like if you like this video. And please subscribe to my channel so I can keep making videos for you, for all of you. And, um, I am going to be saying bye because I got to, um, edit this and then my son will be coming home from school soon. So, um, and everything. Oh, and I also am going to be adding, um, just a little bit of what my pumpkins look like, like you saw in the beginning here. Because I know that Halloween isn't going on anymore, but I just had so much fun and, um, and I love Halloween and I just wanted to show them off. And, yeah, and have a great rest of the day, night, afternoon. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.